Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are running our second story on the north wall of the workshop. So Kendall's actually up there doing form inspections and last minute because whoever you were commenter, I can't remember who it was who commented that we need like procedures and some kind of uh, project management software. We have done both of those things. So now she's going through the procedure list to do our checklist on the form work to make sure that all the form work is good, ready to go. We're gonna mix up our first batch, get to ramming. We're hoping to get six feet of wall done today which should be about 10 lifts, maybe, some, somewhere right around there, eight to 10 lifts, uh, plus a concrete cap. Um, we'll show you how it goes. Here we go. to me like the issue is that the side forms are just a little bit narrower than two feet and so they're having a hard time getting that end cap in so once Ricky is done ramming I think Luke is gonna push from one side and Ricky's gonna pull from the other and hopefully they'll be able to fit that last end cap in and we'll be able to keep moving we've got three lifts in already and we're making pretty good time as long as we can get this end cap in, we should be doing all right. We're hoping to get this wall finished today. How far are we off by? Like a quarter inch. Too much. We throw a rack strap around the top to loosen it up, but not let it go too far. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. And then I'm gonna have to re-screw the brace. That's my bad, sorry guys. It happens. Well, this distance right here, when we put this top brace in, uh, I was like balancing off the edge of the telehandler <laughs> and I guess I didn't measure it exactly correct because I kept trying to screw it in. It wouldn't screw, wouldn't screw, wouldn't screw. I went through three or four screws and finally I just did it and wherever it was, I it looked close enough. So. Okay. I'm just gonna... Yes. We are about to break the biggest rule in rammed earth. What's that? Oh, so moving the brace. Moving Take the forms. Your brace off. Yeah, don't don't ever do I this, people. You hands on unless you absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely have to. And this is one of those times. You only do this when there is no other way. Oh no, I'm sorry, little spider. I'm gonna mess up your web. I'm sorry, people. There's not, no good way to show this because I can't okay. get up there. Cool. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ratchet it down mm -hmm. and it'll overlap itself. Alright. And so okay. it'll actually be the. So, what Ricky is gonna attempt to do is use the ratchet strap to keep the two side forms together. Are you counting on the wall popping out to be enough distance? Oh, it wants to go out. Right. Yeah. Okay. The forms are currently 23 and a half inches apart at the very tip top. All right. So hold on. And we need them at 24, which is why the end cap uh, will not go in. Push. Here goes nothing. Thank you. 
Drill's dead. Oh, never mind. Did it go in? Yeah. Well, that's a new one. Yeah. I mean, okay. Did that ratchet come slack? Yeah, it went in. All right. Um, that's really weird. That felt, that felt weird. It's got to maybe it's got to be because of that. Yeah, turnbuckle. <laughs> yeah, the turnbuckle is the only thing I can think that would cause that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it out and you're just going to slide it on in there. All right. So Ricky's going to attempt to spread those forms out. That's, not, that's not happening. You get What's it the, up higher and slide it down. What's the opposite no, of a ratchet strap? The top is tighter. A spreader? Do the clamps, when you put them backwards, go to two feet? Uh, no, they are 22 inches instead of 24. Ah! Oh, actually, yeah, you could use a clamp though on the, the top brace. Um, yeah! On the Ooh. end of the brace. Oh, the look at us! Teamwork! This one is going to go here. And it's literally just to keep it from popping up. This one is going to do the work. All right, you ready? Better than we're gonna be. Boy, that is taking. Oh yeah, we should be able to get that in. Oh, let me see where we're at. Oh yeah, we're at two, two, twenty-four and a quarter right now. Oh, okay. there it goes. Pops in. Oh, wrong. Give it a little whack. All right, so uh, level. Right behind you, Luke. Oh, that's only that's that's a variant of shingles. That's good. Okay. Yeah, so it's here. Do that. That's high, that's Got it. I'm going to release this to apply tension. So now that thing's pretty well locked in. Let me uh, put these screws back. Oh, yeah, well. Well, considering it's the first time we've ever had to break that rule. <laughs> All right, so we just broke the uh, cardinal rule. the cardinal rule of rammed earth, and that is we removed the top braces when there was rammed earth in there. Now, I will say. Uh, we had not, we had all, we were probably 10 feet away from those braces, maybe, maybe, no, maybe like eight feet away. We we're like eight feet away from those braces. So there wasn't a ton of outward pressure and we ratched, we put a ratchet strap. Well, something very interesting happened when we popped the top off, they actually flexed in because there's so much inward pressure from all our other bracing, which is a good thing. But then we had to slide the piece in, screw it in. So we did all of that and we got it all formed up. The last bit of form work is done, so now it's just lift, 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 lift until we are done. So we're going to take a really short lunch, and then we're going to get back at it. So here we go.
concrete. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, so we finished um, the Wall of Perseverance. Uh, we are at 18 and a half feet, which is the height of the entire north wall of the shop. So we did a concrete cap, but second story on the shop is done on that one north wall, and we are going to get some ice cream. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining our adventure. Mm -hmm.